Artist Frank Stella made a big splash when he emerged in the New York art scene in the 60s. Museums and critics loved him, but he's had many colorful twists and turns since then. Arts editor Jared Bowen caught up with him at the Addison Gallery of American Art, right on the campus that helped launch his career. The Addison Gallery of American Art sits squarely on the bucolic campus of Phillips Academy. A museum filled with modern masters, it stands just as it did in the 1950s, when young, aspiring artist Frank Stella went to school here. I'm still doing the same thing 60 years later that I was doing here. With a new retrospective of his work in prints, he's now the showcase here. But before his art populated museum walls, Malden native Frank Stella was, well... I had a delinquency problem, as they say, and I, I was sent here so I wouldn't go to public high school. It was here, at a school filled with works like this Jackson Pollock he still remembers, that Stella got his groove. One of the things uh, here is that um, the paint was free. <laughs> and I know you laugh, but it, it, it's a pretty big deal for students. And I was pretty wasteful. But the ability to waste is part of the uh, uh, way that you, you feel a sense of confidence. In relatively short order, Stella moved from what he calls the privilege of Phillips Academy to the privilege of Princeton and then on to New York. Abstract expressionism had been the rage, but Stella went a different direction, what was termed minimalism. The idea was that it would be very straightforward and you could see it all at once. It was a, a straightforward, simple image. His black series made him an art world star. He was just in his early 20s when he was featured in the Museum of Modern Art. And he had a full retrospective there just a decade later. I was able to get enough money uh, to quit, you know, odd jobs. And that's success. But he didn't coast. Instead, Stella moved away from minimalism finding the complexities in geometry and how shapes coexisted. For the next 30-some years, he continued to push and explore. What had once been his simple, muted images exploded into fantasias of color, forms, and texture. They are uh, almost confrontational in a way, but in a way, it's trying to come to the viewer. Looking back at 40 years of his work laid out here, Stella says each piece brims with its own personality. But none of it, or him, is precious. My father didn't care that much about my being an artist. Uh, you know, it, it didn't thrill him, but I mean, the idea, as long as I could do what I wanted, you know, as long as I wasn't a burden on society. And, <laughs> and that's the way I feel about the work. As long as it's not a burden, it's okay. Jared Bowen, WGBH News. The Frank Stella retrospective is on view at the Phillips Academy Addison Gallery of American Art through the end of July. For more information, visit andover.edu slash museums.